What is up guys, it's Mabeen here and today as you can see I've got my laptop with letter bombs so you obviously think time to homebrew this weed for the first time on this channel and guess who I am back with? I'm in the Yeah. What's I'm that for? I felt like it. Also may I add, he's homebrewed this before, he's lying to you. Well, no, I, I, if you listen carefully, I said on the first time on this channel. I didn't say I've done it before. Well, by the time they see this, it will already be homebrewed, so what's the point of lying to them, huh? It's not lying because I haven't done it on this channel before. Shut it's up! The first time I don't care! Channel. Okay, so just to start off with, first of all, you want to grab your SD, <coughs> your SD card. Sorry about that. And Come on, don't choke to death. We can't. Fi let's finish this video first, then you can choke to death. Okay, so yeah, just plug it in, and uh, never mind. This was my failed attempt. Um, so first of all, go over to your Wii, go to the settings, and then just go to internet. Uh, if it loads up, oh. this is my weed, guys. By the way, this is a homebrewed example. And just for some uh, background music, we will listen to the me channel. Oh, we just play that in the background of the video, though. Yeah, we're gonna get sued. So, here's a MAC address. So of course, I'm gonna blur it out. Yeah, we can't have um, you lot looking at MAC addresses. Yeah, you definitely know what that is. As you can see here, it says 4.3U, 4.3E, JK. Note that down uh, because if you get the wrong one, it won't work. So yes. I, I live in Europe, so it's 4.3E. I think it's pretty obvious by the fact we have British accents. <laughs> yeah. Um, so just put in your MAC address. This will all be blurred, so you can't send random letter bombs to Mobeen's <laughs> room. It gives, it asks you for a capture. Um, so just do that. Okay, anyways, um, it says cut the red wire and cut the blue wire. None of them matter, it's just there for, you know, whatever. So just cut whatever wire. Um, and yeah. It would have been funny if you cut one of the wires and a jump scare popped up. Open it up with WinRAW and then just literally copy over to your if SD you card. Know, if you want to know why I'm being so obsessed with VMware, it's been doing some experiments with VMware for the past couple of uh, days. And that's literally it. So you just want to refresh and also eject the dry, uh, eject the SD card because we're doing a lot of home brewing in these episodes. So it's best that you eject, otherwise you'll crop the file. Uh, okay, so while we're being fiddles around with his USB, his SD cover, let's talk about the Wii. The Wii came out in 2006 to compete against Sony's amazingly powerful but ridiculously overpriced PlayStation 3 and versus Microsoft's great price, decent games, great value Xbox 360 that was horrifically unreliable. As you could probably guess, the Wii beat it. And this color of the Wii came out in 2010. This is the original OG one from 2007. 7? 2006. It released in Europe in 2007. Mm -hmm. So anyways, yeah. The Wii sold around 101 million units. The PS3 and Xbox 360 sold around 85, 86. Now, I would show you the consoles, but Mobin doesn't have the original version of the console, so it wouldn't be... It would be in line with this, the Black Wii, because that came out at the same time. But there's no physical difference unless we have the Wii Mini and that's just poo poo. So anyways, we'll be just setting up the date on his Wii. Let's just take on the tour of the Wii menu. Make sure you have the right date, kids. Yeah, oh, make sure you have the right dance. date. This Wii I got around May from a certain little shop in the UK called CEX, Sex, Kex, whatever, <laughs> whatever you like. This also came from that in around March time. They were disgusting. My one, let me just tell you what it was missing. It did not have one of these. This isn't this isn't even the original stand, it should come with it should come with a dark darker grey stand. Didn't come with flaps. Um didn't even come with the original mold. This is one I bought. It came with a fake one. Oh hello, don't open it yet. So here we are. Um it's actually yesterday's thing. Basically so, what uh, just before you say anything, rem these are the requirements of a uh, homebrew. Connect to the internet. Um, get your MAC address, have the right date and time, um, have a 
big enough uh, SD card that will fit everything. So, and what would you say the minimum is? Because obviously, me and you. Minimum. I've got two gigabyte card, and so all the hardware I. I fit, it works perfectly. It doesn't. But before that, he did have two fifty six, and that works. Yeah. So I'd say around minimum two fifty six. Yeah. Uh, as long as you don't bolt load it with uh, stuff you want to Yeah, exactly. Don't download 200. Oh, hello. Don't download 200 mods because then uh -huh. it'll just crash. So when you open up the little bomb, this will pop up and then this comes up for a little longer. You have um, been just so you know, scammed. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's just trying to say that, you know, if uh, apparently there was this sort of stuff happening before when it first came out, um, people sold it to others and. Uh, it's yeah. free software, so just remember that. Um, so basically, it's just saying that ask for your money back if you've been scanned. Um, so yeah. Anyways, just wait for this. This to is gonna take a there. while, so let's just. just one. Oh, never mind. Hello, welcome to the hack me installer, and this should tell you how old this thing is, cause I'm gonna zoom in here. Yeah. 2007 to 2012. Yeah, this yeah. thing is seven years old. And there is a way to do it without an SD card, but that's like more harder. Yeah. Um, so it's just easier to do with the thing. So just press continue and use a D-pad and click on install the homebrew channel. Yes, and it should be here in like... Oh, okay. there you go. That was we'll, we'll just wait for this to pop. I'll open up my homebrew channel while we're here. Yeah, after it exits, it will directly boot into the homebrew channel and it is ready to be filled with whatever you All want right. to do. So this is the homebrew channel when you first go back. So this is the homebrew channel when you first get it. And, and by the end is... of this series, it's going to look like this. Yeah, so this is a little got, mini series that yeah. we're doing. So basically, um, I don't think I've told you we are going to be doing this on the same day, like right now. And we are going to film this all on the same day because we got a decent amount of time. But this is going to be spread out over the next couple of weeks. So yeah, as you can see. Oh, why wow, you got Nintendo? Yeah, my brother got that uh, okay, GameCube yeah. but He flopped massively. <laughs> okay, so the next thing you definitely need to install is Multi Mod Manager. This is for like. These are um, called WADs or WADs. I don't know how to pronounce it. I call it WADs. Um, but yeah, these are WADs. Like, um, the Wii has a different file system and application. Um, yeah, the Wii is very different compared to its competitors. For starters, yeah, so it doesn't even have a hard drive, it uses flash memory. Well, it did have like 512's internal memory, didn't it? 512 megabytes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that this thing has 512 megabytes and still didn't fill up is shocking. Okay, so just uh, just so you know, this video will only be about Homebrew and Multimod Manager and the next video will be like D2X CIOS, all of that stuff. So this is the last thing we have to do today. So, um, uh, this link will be in the description, download it, I've already got it downloaded. So you want to do the same thing as well, here it is, it's apps, oh yeah, I forgot to say, get your SD card, plug it in, if I can even plug it in, there you go, um, open, open this, and literally just um, yeah just drag that in there and then uh, what you want to do also is refresh and create a new folder that says WADS um, so you want to refresh again and then locate whatever WADS you want to install these are like those files so let me see if I've got um, and I'm dying of heat. Yes, yeah, so it's very hot in the UK. I'm actually sweating so much that this camera is starting to slide out of my hand, as you can see. I'm um, not joking, it's about to start there. Okay, then I don't have any uh, any wads to install, so never mind about that. You don't need to, but this will come in handy. Um, so, again, uh, just eject your drive and then just plug it into the SD card. Uh, go into the homebrew launcher, start it. I'm Bam, there it is. Like, the very right first thing. Yeah, the that's the first time. thing you want to install. And it's right there. If you don't, also, just so you know, Homebrew is installed on the thing. On the but Wii. if you take out your SD card with and launch Homebrew, you won't see anything. So don't die because you don't have anything. And that's basically about it for this episode. Next episode, we're going yes. to be taking a look at installing, you know, like Boot Me, all of the other stuff, you know. One must for if you're homebrewing your Wii is USB loader, which I will. Yeah, nobody wants to buy discs unless yes, you're the. Yes, because in the UK, especially. The way games are bloody expensive! As you can see here, I have my games. I, I know I'm a, I'm a all child. All of this will be covered in the next yep. episode. So as you can see, i got Mario Kart, Super Mario Bros, Smackdown, Mario Galaxy. Some games don't work. So for example, the first game that I had that does not work was WWE All-Stars. I had to actually download an additional launcher called Wii Flow that got it to work.
the uh, light pops up when you're on this, which is beautiful because everyone loves the wee light. Yes, there's n unfortunately there's no way to permanently keep it on. Unless you send yourself a message. Which obviously won't work anymore. Yep, because that's been dead since 2014. And yeah, that's basically about it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. There's like a mini series that we're doing. Um, <laughs> da, 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 Abby will be da, da, here da. as well. I will be here for a long time until the series is over, in which case you'll never see me again. Yes, or well, maybe you will. And we will see you again in the next video. Anything yep. you want to say? Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.